evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to be doing a catch and cook. I don't usually do stuff like this because I like to let them go and let them grow. But today is a little different. Oklahoma wants you to actually be keeping the smaller fish and you reduce all those hungry mouths. They make it where you can keep six fish, only one over, I believe, 16 inches. And only one big one, but the rest have to be small. They're trying to create an ecosystem where those big fish are there. Right now we're in an ecosystem filled with small fish and they're choking out the bigger ones. So I believe that's what they're going to try to do. So today we are going to be doing a catch and cook. Found some nice wild, mm. a wild hot dog to go with our fish. This will be delicious. So good. Mmm. So yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Why do I keep taking a bite out of it? <laughs> That's so gross. Look at my jacket. That was, that, that was a mistake. I think that was a... Uh, mm. I think that was a mistake. I have one saved for later on my boat, but I don't I don't think we're going to eat that. If you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you do, so hit that like button and subscribe. We are going to grow this channel into something great. Let's get on the water and catch some fish. fish over by the fish pile. I was working this. It's like a jig. Eleven point four. Whoa. I think I just snagged. Oh yeah, I got some line, possibly mine. It honestly looks like my line. Hey, maybe I'll get my beetle spin back. No, come here, buddy. Okay. Hey, oh my gosh. Well, looky, looky here. We have retrieved thou beetle spin. Thou hast redeemed thyself. Also, thou is bent, so maybe not. I'm just gonna stow this. Here. A little taller than that. Just right up on that bank. Pass the one. Oh, we got one. Oh, it's a little guy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. On the wacky. On the wacky. I'm just gonna grab you like that. Pop that hook out. Oh yes, thank you. Well dude, you're tiny, but I appreciate you so much. That reverse. Okay, I said this was a catch and cook, which it is. I just forgot to keep the fish. I'm so used to catch and release, I chucked him back in without even thinking about it. Lucky little bugger. Wacky rig, wacky rig, catch me a fish, catch me a fish if I only wish. Wacky rig, wacky rig, catch me a fish, catch me a fish if I only wish. It's gotta work, right? Let's go, let's go. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good fish. Come here, buddy. Ooh. Let's go. That's a good fish. Oh, we're eating you. You're not big enough to throw back. Look at that. That's kind of skinny. Has a hook stuck in its gill. Look at that. You survived that, dude, but I'm usually more of a catch and release type fisherman. But like I said, this is a catch and cook, and we finally got something decent. Something pretty bad today. And just like that, we got fish on the stringer, on the firework jig with the Sakoshi bug. Walking it super slow. Oh boy. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, here we have the largemouth bass from the catch and cook. Now, usually I don't keep fish, but this looks pretty good. I will admit I burnt the first piece. I fed it to the dog, so it didn't go to waste. That's for sure. That fish was skinny, unhealthy. Honestly, it needed to happen. It shouldn't be back in the water. But here's the delicious bass. Got it fried up just like that. And Mmm, look at that. How crispy that is. Anyways. I had a ton of fun being out there in the cold weather, getting blown around by winds that I shouldn't even be taking my boat around. Just coming home, cooking up that fish, it's just, it's so worth it. It makes it all worth your time. Cause sometimes you go out there, you catch a couple fish, you take it for granted. But when you ever you catch a fish, you bring it home and you cook it, always makes you a little bit happier. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I post new videos every Sunday. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified of every single video. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for more.